I'm Dr. Oka from Neogenesis Systems and Live Blood Online. Okay, so in this video we're going to look at how to replace the condenser holding ring under the stage of the microscope. Now this is really the only wear and tear item with the microscope. After some time you might notice that the condenser holding screw doesn't hold the condenser in place anymore and that's usually because the screw is stripped and we usually then replace the condenser holding ring with the screw attached. Okay, so we're going to just remove the Brightfield condenser. Alright, and then we're going to remove the entire condenser holding screw here. So let's lower it. So to remove this ring, we need to unscrew the centering knobs. Right, and that will then allow us just to slide this condenser ring out from under the stage. All right, so let's get the new one. And that's just going to slide into position on the stage. Now you will notice that there's a area here at the back of this ring that fits into a screw at the back of the unit here. So let's place it into position. That fits into the screw. Okay, push it in against the screw and tighten these condenser centering screws to hold this condenser ring in place under the stage. All right, that should do it. And then we can place the Brightfield condenser into position into the new condenser holding ring. All right, now lastly, you will need to realign the condenser with the beam of light because we've adjusted these centering screws. So to do that with a Brightfield condenser, we will need to just move the frosted filter out of position. We won't be able to do it with a frosted filter in position, so it just needs to be pushed out from the beam of light. And we're going to close the field iris diaphragm at the base of the microscope as well. We're then going to go to the four times objective, the smallest objective, and then move the condenser up to its highest position. All right, now let's adjust the focus. So at this point you should see a circle of light somewhere in the viewing field. If you don't, you'll probably see it through the eyepieces or you can just enlarge the circle of light coming through the field iris diaphragm. Let's adjust the course focus until we can find that circle of light. Open it some more, there we can see the circle coming through there. Okay, so we're going to use the condenser centering knobs there to move this light into the field of view. I'm going to close the field iris diaphragm there again and then keep moving this into position let's close the ring again so you can see on the screen that we're just slightly off center so as we close the ring we're just moving the circle of light into the field of view we've got the field iris diaphragm completely closed now just adjusting the focus so you can see the circle of light very clearly in the viewing field there and we're just going to continue adjusting the centering knobs until that ring of or that circle of light is, is in the center of the viewing field and to ensure that it's properly centered you can increase magnification going to the 10 times objective adjust the centering knobs until the circle of light is completely in the middle of the viewing field as we have it there and then we'll go back to the um, settings for Brightfield so we'll just open the field iris diaphragm 100% again and move the frosted filter back into place under the Brightfield condenser and that's that's it so the Brightfield condenser is in place and the condenser holding ring is back under the microscope mm -hmm. 